<laughs> so I am actually on the way to go see my grandpa and I did not get very far. I turned the corner and there's a sign for an estate sale and it's an estate sale that is not on estatesales.net. So I am on my way to that to see what I can find. Okay guys, I think these are something, I can't remember, but for 25 cents, I'm just gonna grab them. I'm not gonna look them up. <laughs> I think that's all I'm gonna pick up from these. Ooh, I'm gonna check out these shakers. I do end up grabbing this robot coupe food processor and then that little Tupperware container next to it had a whole bunch of blades. You guys, I was just supposed to go see my grandpa. I have my daughter's Uggs on. I would never leave the house in those shoes or these pants if I knew I was going to be out in public. I have them now, but when I first started, I was just on a folding chair and I was like, this is terrible. Yeah. And then I use a kitchen table chair. I'm like, this is awful. I need a computer chair. So I'm going to grab that. So I don't look these cameras up, but I end up buying both of them. So this Olympus was $5, and then the other one is going to be a Canon, and that one was $5 as well. Neither of these turn on right away, so I am going to have to figure out a way to test these or just sell them as is. I spent $30.25 at this sale. So that last video was Thursday. Today is Friday and I had absolutely no plans of going to any estate sales today, but I have to go to the grocery store and this one isn't too far from the grocery store. So I figure I might as well stop. It's the last day, the last two hours of the sale. So hopefully I find something. It is half off day, so I paid $12.50 for this vacuum cleaner, and if I part it out, I should be able to make well over $100 off of this. There were a bunch of filters included, plus all the attachments are attached to the top of the vacuum. I always look up anything that's new in the box, especially if it looks a little bit older like this. So I pick up that air purifier as well, and I paid $12.50 for that because it was priced at $25, just like the vacuum. Okay guys, so I kind of wasn't thinking. My trunk is full and my back seat is full with the UPS boxes. So the vacuum cleaner is on the passenger seat and on the passenger floor. So I almost forgot about this estate sale. I'm number 36 in line, which to me isn't too big of a deal because most of these people aren't here for the type of items that I buy. So I'm okay with that. Um, it's raining, it's super cold outside, so hopefully I won't have to stand outside too long. So I say this a lot, being a successful reseller definitely can depend on your zip code. These estate sale prices will be very reasonable. This is one of my favorite companies. This is their first sale of the season. So I'm really excited to take you guys along and even if I don't pick up too much, I'll walk around the house, show you guys what everything is priced at and just check it out, see what they have. Um, but I'm definitely heading to the bathroom first. I So they did end up letting everybody in, which was somewhere around 40 or more people. So if you notice, there's 40 people in this house, but I'm the only person who went to the bathroom first. So that's one of the reasons I prefer to sell these type of items because not too many people are looking for them. Now I do end up purchasing that mirror. The light up mirrors of that brand sell for really good money. I'm hoping this acrylic mirror will sell for somewhere around 20 to $25. So 
So none of these products are discontinued and none of them are older. So I don't end up finding anything in the bathroom this time around. I do come back around. I did live, leave the mirror at this time. I did not pick it up. But when I come back, I end up looking up that brand. And then I also pick up this Clinique Compact. Now, if you've seen any of my videos in the past, I always talk about how I am not a clothing reseller. And for the most part, I'm not. But once garage sale season hits or if an estate sale has clothing cheap enough, I will go through the clothing looking for items that I think will sell fast. I won't pick up anything that's just a generic mall brand that I'm going to sit on for a while. They had two of these little vases. One was blue and then the other was green. And I did Google image these and they were listed on eBay for $40 for one, but there weren't any that had sold. So I felt like this was gonna be a really slow moving item. So I didn't pick either of those up. And I did not pick up that cast iron pan to check the bottom for a maker's mark because somebody had already picked it up before me and mentioned that it said made in China. So I didn't even bother to pick it up and look. But now I'm thinking maybe I should have checked for myself. I'm always on the hunt for Cutco and the brand of knives that start with the W, but I'm not too sure how to pronunciate it. I'm gonna say Wostoff but I could be wrong. My decanter knowledge is very minimal, so I would only be able to spot a Ralph Lauren decanter. Everything else, I would have to use Google Image to look it up. This Pyrex dish was really nice. They wanted 55 for it, but that's about the going rate on eBay. They weren't going for much more than that. When I noticed this Canon battery charger over here, I was really hoping it would work for one of the cameras that I picked up recently, but it ends up not charging anything. But whenever I see camera chargers or battery chargers like this, I always pick them up just because I'm always picking up different types of cameras. So if the battery is dead and it doesn't include a charger, I have multiple chargers available to try and be able to test those types of cameras. So I did a quick Google search of this scarecrow. I was hoping it was a Jemmy, but it wasn't. And he was selling for, it was like around $12, but again, really slow sell through rate. It was only two, but I didn't end up picking it up. This was an amazing price on this lamp, but for the first time ever, I did not buy something because I didn't want to ship it. Usually I would have picked up both of these and a set is going for around $700. And for me to spend 300, wait for these to sell, that just wasn't enough of a return on my investment. If they would have been an easier to ship item, I definitely would have picked them up. So this Pendleton robe, I paid $4 for this. Even though it says clothing is three, robes were four. 
So I paid four for this and I found this comp for 55 for the exact same one. I've sold replacement dishwasher pieces in the past, but unfortunately this basket didn't have a brand or any type of number or anything for me to be able to look this up to see what dishwasher this would go with. So I didn't pick this up, but definitely keep your eye out for items like that. And then there was another bathroom in the basement, but this one didn't have any like cleaning supplies or any type of beauty products, nothing like that in here. So there was really nothing for me to look at. This left-in cookie jar was priced at $40, but it's probably selling for $65 or a little bit less in damaged condition. Now in very nice condition, those can sell for $200. So I did not pick that one up. I loved this clock. It was by Linden. I did take the time to look it up, but it does not sell. I love the color of this wicker furniture. Now I could have easily bought this entire set, which was two chairs, two side tables, and put that up on eBay and it would have sold eventually. Now, when I would sell bigger items like this in the past, I always used U-Ship. So basically, you put what you're going to ship out there and then different people take bids on it. I would always go with the smaller mom and pop companies, like somebody who has a pickup truck with a trailer versus a semi. And I would ship really big items for pretty cheap. So this is me trying to expand my knowledge. Usually I just walk right past all of the jewelry at estate sales and I had one of my subscribers in my eBay Bolo group tell me that I need to start checking out jewelry. She makes quite a bit at estate sales by buying stuff that they don't realize is gold and reselling it. So I'm trying to get better about looking at jewelry. Now I do look through the clothing because this Orvis sweater kind of caught my eye, but it does have some stain, so I don't grab that. And then there really wasn't anything else that was worth anything. And then I'm on my way to check out and I realized that there's a laundry room and I didn't even see this. So they do have some cleaning products here. I looked through everything, but I really don't see anything that is worth looking up or anything that is discontinued that I have sold in the past. So now when it comes to these types of products, whenever I put them in my videos, I get so many questions as to how do I know what to pick up? So the real answer is for the most part, I don't. I'm getting a little bit better. I do research these type of items at least two to three times a week, but for the most part, I will scan with my eBay app if I'm unsure. I ended up spending a total of $14 at this sale. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. This is, I think, three days worth of estate sales, and there were just one sale on each day. So in my area right now, this is just the beginning of estate sale season. So there should be multiple estate sales a day going forward. For the most part, where I live, estate sale season runs from about the end of April, middle of April until maybe the beginning of October. From October until March, there might be two estate sales a month in my area. Next weekend, I am going to a community sale that has over a hundred garage sales. So make sure you subscribe. I'm sure that trip will be multiple videos. It's one of my biggest sourcing weekends of the year every single year. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps my channel, lets YouTube know that people are liking my videos. So thanks again, and I will see you guys next Tuesday on my next video. Actually, I'm gonna throw out a bonus video on Friday. I didn't find too much at this estate sale, but it's a 9,000 square foot home. Really beautiful. Um, so that will be coming out Friday. It's a really short video. Thanks again.